Iowa State men's and women's track team takes aim at the Big 12 championships this weekend. Assistant coach Nate Weens and junior hurdler Ryan Sander tell us about the meet names. Well, yeah, I mean, it's just like any other venue. When you get a run at home, there's a little bit more excitement. You're more f familiar with the facility, the, the eating venues, the, you know, I got to sleep in my own bed. You know, there's a lot of things, the, the intangibles you don't, kind of don't think about that's behind the scenes that, that we enjoy. I run at this track every day. I'll get to sleep in my bed the night before. You know, I, I do like that. We haven't had that for a big meet like this before, so I'm, I'm excited to see what that brings. Having the Big 12 Championships at Iowa State means more than just being at home for the ISU track team. Head coach Corey Immel says having a runner like Betsy Sena impacts a team headed into a major meet. Yeah, I, I think anytime you, you show up to a meet and you, you have an individual like Betsy on your team, it, it's a sense of pride and a sense of, you know, she's going to go out and do what she does. Uh, but it, she, she, she's, not, she's a difference maker. But it's those 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th places that, that are going to add up at the end of the day and be the difference in the team scores. Another aspect to this weekend's success are the ISU throwers. Freshman thrower Jan Yoshkida says he hopes to have better success at this weekend's championships. We're finally through like over 18 meters, 59-3. Um, and the Big 12 championships are pretty much want to, you know, want to throw a little bit further than that. Just P PR again, uh, hopefully over 60 feet. That's kind of like my goal for the indoor season. And then whatever, how many points that gets me, I'm satisfied with that. The coaches weigh in on what it will take for ISU to succeed at the Big 12 Championships. You know, everybody's got to show up on the day, and as of right now, we're, we're excited to see what that process looks like. Five or six points could make the difference between the, being the top half and not. So um, I think both teams have the potential to do really well. It's just a matter of, uh, uh, you know, it doesn't matter what you've done to this point, it's what you do on, on those two days. Mitch Gerber, ISU TV.